So what's new and vegan at Waitrose? Today we're going to tell you. And I have no idea. It's not like I've looked through the bag already, is it? So yes, I made a bit of a mess up. Um, I have been to Waitrose, but we did do a film which lasted about 40 minutes, going into great detail about what I bought and how much money I spent, and the microphone wasn't turned on. Let's so we're going to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Is that recording? It's yeah. recording. <laughs> At least you haven't got to edit a 40 minute video now. We're going to do this in 10 one. minutes. Right, go. These kind of corn-like uh, slices for sandwiches. Squeaky! I've never heard of this company before. I love the company's name though, it's Squeaky Bean. Brilliant. So there's a ham style one, much like corn. And that looks better, that's, um, yeah, that looks, ooh, that looks like it's got peppery bits on the side as well. Yeah, they look a bit thicker no. than the corn ones. This is the pastrami, which looks very beetroot red. Yeah, that does, doesn't it? What is pastrami? Pastrami, isn't it beef? Is it? I think it's beef. I mean, that looks like beef, doesn't it? Is it a spicy kind of beef? I've it's, no it's idea. Italian, isn't it? I've pastrami? never eaten pastrami, no, even never when I was a kid. Eaten. And the chicken kebab style. Now, these don't go out a day until next month, so we're going to review yeah. these on a forthcoming video. You're going to come around in a couple of weeks. Well, not a couple of weeks. Those. Oh, yeah, I might do after yeah. work. Yeah. Uh, you're not mad on nori. No. So the sprinkles. No. I love nori. Um, you like it when it's wrapped in tofu. No, when tofu, yeah. Yeah, when tofu is wrapped in it. I mean, I love wasabi. It, are we, we're talking really fast, aren't we? Yeah. It's mad on nori. Yeah, the sprinkles. Yeah, I love nori. Um, you like it when it's wrapped in tofu. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Trying, to get it all, <laughs> trying to get it all out of the way before the battery runs out. <laughs> Not mad on the sprinkles. Go on, do you want to do it again? Yeah, go on, let's. done this already. <laughs> I right, just hey, love your reaction. Mmm. See, that's not fishy. Well, it smells disgusting. Yeah, but it just smells like herbs, dried no, it herbs. Doesn't. That smells like dried parsley. You're a funny little creature. <laughs> I don't like the smell. I don't know what it is. Great for salads, great what? for sprinkling oh, on things, on your toast if you so wish. Now, we've opened these already because we did <laughs> try these out on the previous video. You can actually show the video of us enjoying <laughs> Yeah, with no sound. <laughs> So Higgity, um, do you remember Christmas? You weren't here because yeah. I, I think you were swanning off in Diddy Cop. Did cop. Did cop. Yeah. Did cop. The um, miso ones. Miso. Yeah. yeah they sent They're us the yummy. miso. These are new vegan samosa, samosa rolls, vegetable samosa. And they got mango chutney in which I yeah. love. We're not going to pretend with the reaction. We're not going to fake it because we've had these before and they are really good. Aren't I don't they? want do you another one. one. Oh, you don't? No, no, I'm no, going to no. have another one. I do love mm. a nice soft cold, I do like cold pastry. I'm happy to eat these cold. Yeah, I, I am. Jeremy wouldn't. No, you said, but I, I really like them. I think they're really tasty. Nooch. If you're new to veganism, this is an essential. If you hear people talking about nooch. Now, as you know, I used to hate it. I can never work out why you hated it. Because it was like fish food. Because I used to, my parents used to have tropical fish mm. and goldfish. And did you ever see the flakes that you feed? Oh yeah, it's very similar. It reminded it? me of that, and it was just like I just didn't get it. I'm addicted to this stuff. We have it on everything. We have it on salad. We have it on. Yeah, I think you take it a bit far. Even Paul has a one of these in his cupboard. Wow. Yeah. God, he'll be vegan before you know it. <laughs> I sent him a reaction video as we were watching. <laughs> The video. Brown tahini. Never had brown tahini. It's um, cheaper than the normal tahini. Mm. Unhold. So I guess it's the same as peanut butter, isn't it? When you get the yeah the peanut butter hold to mm -hmm. keep the skin on. Yeah. I love I, tahini. I love a tahini dressing. You got me into that. Yeah. What is it? Pret a manger. I went somewhere and they did a tahini dressing and it was identical to the one you do oh, and wow. it was just like oh, I, I think I that taste don't think there's many variations of no, it because I yeah. think it's just literally but it was juice. just nice to have it was kind of like oh it's like reminded it. you of me it is oh that's love okay next bacon right um late to the party because this i think went on sale a year ago maybe more mm. you've not tried this yet no i keep seeing it and like like we said with the men's stuff, do you like the packaging? I'm a, because to be fair, 
It doesn't look... Doesn't look appealing. That, but, but then normal bacon doesn't either, does well, No, it? of course not. Of course we yeah. don't find flesh appealing. No, but, but I don't think meat eaters would like the look of bacon, would they? Or oh, maybe they would, actually. But of course they do. It. They yeah. don't care. They don't yeah. associate it with being a dead animal. Yeah. It's very... You can even smell it through that plastic, can't you? Yeah, it's the liquid it's, smoke, isn't it's it? It's very... It's very it's really stinky. strong. But it's, yeah, radish, carrot and paprika. And it's got pea protein in, which we're seeing in a lot more things. Yeah, and you were saying that it's only high in salt, but it's not actually yeah, high in fat. Yeah, it's um, got no high, it's like low in fat. It's only 0% fat. Yeah. 0% of your daily. That's amazing. Yeah, so if you're trying to give up, I mean, we've obviously got to taste it, but if you're trying to have a healthier diet. Well, apparently this is one of the better ones. I mean, it's even yeah. got a great taste award, yeah. so. I Am would I, imagine it's... You're trying to put it in the end that's closed? <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Wade chose his own range. Now, I'm very happy to see them uh, just pulling out all the stops. They've basically improved their range to such an extent. And we've still got Veganuary to come as well. They, oh. I think they're just doing brilliant things at the moment. This is the vegan chicken or no chicken crispy slices. A little bit like corn, but thicker. Yeah, I think the breadcrumbs look thicker. Yeah. Because corn ones are quite thin. These look chunky breadcrumbs, which I do like. I, I like a chunky, so it goes crispy on the outside and yeah. a little bit soft before you get to the protein in the middle. And the picture, it, it looks really like Yeah, but we do know that nice pictures brown color. are deceiving. They are, but if, if it ends up looking like that, I'd be Have very happy. Have you seen the lengths people go to? Product Friend of mine's a food photographer, yeah. and the stuff they do to food, it's mad, the stuff they do. I'm intrigued about these. You'll have to let me know, because you've got to eat these in two days' time. Yeah. So I know what you're having for dinner later. Now, we're going to have these on a forthcoming video. We're going to do a review of these because these the are the at the moment. crisp crumbed fishless goujons. Mm. Back to the fishy, fishy business again. And they've got jackfruit in. Yeah, but I think that's unusual because you normally see stuff like this just made with soya or But wheat. I think because jackfruit has that Stringy. this stringiness but also light, so fish is a light Oh, I hate talking about meat like this. Well, it, it looks it's authentic. It's a light meat. Yeah, it looks it? authentic, doesn't so it? So I think it's very much about trying to get those people who are transitioning or cutting down on meat and fish. Yeah, streaky bits. Uh, now, in the last video, we were trying to work out what the name was, but I think it's lardons, isn't it? They're is like, it they look a bit like lardons look like. Is it pancetta? No, pancetta's really thin. But... It's the same kind of smoky no, meat, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, pancetta's like a thin bacon, I think. Lardons is when you've got, like, bacon with lumps of the fat on it. Oh, OK. And it looks like that, they yeah. cut up like that. You've got, like, the oily bits. Yeah. God, that makes me feel sick just even thinking about <laughs> it. But we were trying to work... I was asking Phil, what yeah. are you actually going to do with these? I, I would put these on a pizza or in a salad, like they've got mm. on the picture. On a pizza, I think it'd be nice. Like the One Planet pizzas. Yeah. Oh. They have the, uh, on the Hawaiian pizza, they mm. have um, meaty bits like this, like seitan, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. But this has been out of the fridge for oh, a while. You can see all the grease clinging to the plastic. One Planet pizza. Mm. Yeah, they're the best pizzas, mm. aren't they? We had them the other night. Mm. There's a shop in the corner that started selling them. I was like, there is a god. No, there isn't. Mm. Well, my pizza god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, I want one planet pizza. <laughs> so finally, the vegan marinated no beef chunks. Pie. Yeah. Pie like, or like, chef or cottage pie. You can put some mashed potato on the top and, yeah. and maybe add some peppers and some leeks. I would add mushrooms. Mushrooms yeah. and gravy. I guess that texture is kind of mushroomy though, isn't it? You'd want a bit of colour in there, otherwise it would be quite beige. No, I don't. It? I like peppers to be crunchy, so I only really like peppers in something when it's crunchy. Okay. So I would personally just do a mushroom and chunky pie with just roll short crust pastry. Mm. And again, for you new vegans or people transitioning, you can still add pastry because yeah. puff pastry by just roll if you don't know just how roll. to do your own. Just roll. Yeah, and it's, it's ready vegan. made for you. Yeah, it's great. That's not a massive packet, is it? No. I mean, that, like, sits in my hand. That's a really... That's one portion for me. No, well, maybe two. That's not a two? lot, is it? Gotta say, it was the most pleasurable experience because I went 
uh, just after rush hour. So I got there about half past nine, Canary Wharf, Waitrose. There was no one in there. It was amazing. Was it like 28 days later? Yeah, Did it you was. Think there had been like yeah. another pandemic outbreak. Oh, I loved it. And I had my mask on and I was happy as Larry in there walking around trying to find new vegan bits. Because these are all new, obviously. I'm surprised you didn't range. buy any nice bread or something like sourdough. There's always something though, isn't there? Yeah, I and do. So I looked at the ice cream, I was going to get ice cream, and I thought, no, because I'd just be piling on the pounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I said this, but I'm going to say again. They've got this pecan, bouja bouja pecan ice cream, I think it is. Yeah. My mate found some in her freezer. My mate, honestly, she's such a feeder, and she gave me some, but she put Quantro on it. Such a good idea. <laughs> That'd be in heaven. Ice cream and booze. Oh my god. You can't get better than it that. It was can you? so nice. So maybe next time we can. Sorry do that. if we spoke really fast on that, but. <laughs> yeah, batteries running out. Thank you for watching yeah. as always. Let us know if you're going to go to Waitrose soon, or maybe you've seen some other goodies at another supermarket somewhere, and hopefully we'll bring you another food haul. And I think Aldi. we should do Aldi's next. Yeah. Go the other episode. Yeah. Let's go. Good budget range. Yay. See you next time. Bye.